Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And I'm here with Mark. Mark, your last name? Shaw. And Mark is a uh, car person. He has, I just want to mention this up front, he's got a 32 hot rod yes. and a couple of Corvettes. But the one that I thought you may be interested in seeing that you're, well, you probably won't be seeing too often, what's the one we brought today? It's a 1961 Rambler American convertible <laughs> custom. This is a great one. I want to go right to the car. So Mark, come right alongside me, and we want to go right to this car. It's bigger than a carnival car and smaller than a normal car. The Rambler American. Now try to find one in this condition, which is almost all original. Right off the bat, for the American Motors people, we know we've got the wrong hubcaps on it. However, they look great with this ride. So right off the bat, Mark, how long have you had this one? I've had this one about eight years. What is the reaction when you're driving the Rambler American? Um, depends on the age of the person. The uh, older people love it because everybody's father or grandfather had a, a Rambler. Um, younger people have absolutely no idea what it is. Take a look at that hood ornament. That's Great. So, <laughs> it's such an interesting car because at the time it was featured as basically the economy car and you can see why. It's not very complicated. Where are the turn signals? Turn signals are down there. Oh, down there. I didn't even see them at first. I was looking around. Okay, let me, if I couldn't see them, maybe you couldn't either. They're featured there. It's almost like now that I see them, how did I miss them? <laughs> because it, you could just see the word Rambler across the front. And at this time, it wasn't really... How, how was that working with American Motors? It was kind of a... Well, Rambler was still the brand. Um, it became American Motors later on. Um, but the Rambler was... It went from Nash to Rambler, then to American Motors. And let's let's open that hood, shall we? We'll open the hood up front, and I want to show you, we've got the sport mirrors on this. Take a look at those mirrors, too. They kind of lean back quite a bit. That rake and the there. second mirror, the passenger side mirror is an option. So that's an option, probably part of the custom part of this car. The dual horns are part of the custom as well. Do those work? Yes. All right, we'll have to blow those when we've got the car on, when we're driving or something. Or but what we'll do too as well is, because we have it in the sun this way, we'll start it up here. What's the, uh, do we know the, the dimensions, the horsepower, the... It's 196 cubic inch. Okay. This is the overhead valve model of it, so it had 125 horsepower. This is the bigger engine, so to speak. This is the, the hopped up one, yes. The hopped up six, okay. The, the, the other one, they, <laughs> the other engine they called an L, L head, and it was basically a flat head and it had 90 horsepower. 90 horsepower. So we've got the bad boy here. Let's fire it up while I'm standing here and then we'll let it idle. I'll stand behind there. We'll step on the brakes to show the tail lights and then we'll give it a little bit of a rev. Gotta find peace. And while you're finding those, I'll just kind of show some of the features. Here. <laughs> Carburetor. And one barrel Holly. Let's keep that horn on. That's pretty. That's pretty. Pretty good sound. All right. Let me just listen to it. Idle. Could you step on the brakes for just a moment, and then we'll give it a rev as well. Let me show the tail lights since they're in the dark. We'll feature the back in a second. We'll turn it around. Go ahead, give it a rev. Nice, we haven't had it out in a while, so it's getting all the moisture out. Obviously the gas cap. And let me just highlight. The wire caps. <laughs> this is good stuff. And we're gonna actually turn it around so you can see the back and the interior. So here we are at the back of the car, and I want to show you some cues. 
simplistic taillights, as you can see, the single exhaust, the no missing, the word Rambler, nicely pronounced right in the center, but the keyhole, the word custom, which probably, probably relates to the convertible top and maybe some type of an upgrade. And while we're back here, we've actually got a few trunk and treats. So here's our trunk and treats. And we start with the all new, a convertible with Rambler Excellence. And they're featuring the new Rambler American smartest, lowest priced convertible. So we somehow have a sailboat on one side and this woman looks like she may just paddle you in the head. And we have this, I don't know, piece of wood that somehow or something has come up on shore. Proven economy king. This is just great. Greatest rust fighter. Rust busting out all. Like how the guy's foot is through the door. Pay four hundred and seventy-eight dollars less for this convertible. Good luck finding the Rambler American Owner's Handbook. We won't go all the way through that, but we'll just get you the index. The left door pillar post. That's just great. And the technical service manual. Let's go take a look at the rest of the car. And we're back. So let me show you the interior. One of the things right off the bat that I like is in the handles, you can see this handle goes up and down, which is really nice. There's your large entrance to get in, very comfortable. Let me show you that instrumentation. Right off the bat, the two-spoke wheel with the large R for Rambler in the center. I like that. We have the single unit construction. I'll dive in just a little bit more. Single unit construction. You can pause on that. We have Betty Boop. We have our mats, our vent, our lights, wiper, our top. We're not gonna pull the top down because this one can crack. Our stock. American. Now these are the correct seats by the way. I'll show you these seats. These are the buckets and they're correct with this car. Usually you think of a Rambler and you have a bench. And this seat does come all the way back or most of the way back. But um, that seat might not be functioning 100% properly so we're just going to let you know that it does fold back. And with that all said, I think it's time for a ride. So we're rambling in the Rambler today, and uh, you look like you're about a hundred feet tall in this thing. I mean, uh, uh, this is you know, look at. I'll try to pull that back a little bit. See yourself driving your car. The first time you're seeing yourself driving the car. How's it feel when you're driving this? I mean, it looks like you got the it's, ten and two there. It's a little bit cramped because it's, uh, <laughs> it's the seats back as far as it goes, but. This was a compact car. Yeah, back so here's, here's my so. here's my I have foot foot room and you've got foot room, but yeah, we're we're right up against the windshield. I mean, if we brake too hard, we'll bounce our face off the front of the car. <laughs> yeah. But that's the beauty of this one. Yeah. I mean, and the fact that they made it a convertible, I mean, that's just like great stuff yeah. right there. Yeah. What made you desire? What was the I need a Rambler part of you? Um, and I, this is this is me. 
the girl that I was dating, parents have had ramblers all their lives, and I just decided I wanted a rambler. <laughs> they inspired you. But I really wanted a scrambler. But <laughs> this, this was number two. Yeah, but well, yeah, this it's it's I don't know. It's an attractive car, but it's kind of. How did you find it? It was at one of the auctions. I mean, the fact that somebody saved it. Yeah, it came from California. Okay, all right, because so that, that, that explains how we're finding this car in this condition. Yeah. I mean, it's really, you know, it's kind of cute. You know, it's yeah. not a, it's not a, you know, you've got Corvettes. Those are more, you know, kind of yeah. sexy cars. Yeah, there. sure. We can go down past yeah, let's, heads, we're, we can go we're, let's go wherever you want to go. We're yeah. rambling in the rambler. Let me just show people some of the scenery. <laughs> Let me do that. Let me get the camera off of us and just enjoy the ramble of the rambler. Not fast. No, but this is the higher horsepower car. So this is, I can only gonna, imagine what the other one would be. Yeah, like. if you jump on it, let me know. I don't want to bounce the camera off my face. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's got a passing gear, so. Yeah. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah. Oh, this is nice. Well, if people like what they see, subscribe to the channel, give it the thumbs up if you like the Rambler. But uh, Mark, this is really a great car and so unique and so much fun. Uh, thanks for being on My Car Story.